I've never done before in my life. Adi says he's going to be a YouTuber someday. Yeah, let's see. I don't, I don't I'm going to be a YouTuber. The route is beautiful. It's very scenic. The landscape is amazing. We are about an hour away from Nanuki and I'm so excited to see the landscape around me. They're so beautiful, undulating hills, very steep drops at times, but beautiful. I'm just showing you and recording the view as I as we go along and sharing it with you. Have a look. This drive from Naivasha to Nanyuki is not to be missed if you are driving around the countryside. is the cottage we're going to stay in hello guys we are at nanuki and we have finally found the place we're going to stay in it's a little off the main road and it is a quite little property uh, it has two houses the cottage that you see behind is that of the owners their family lives here and this is the cottage where we are going. we're just really lucky that we found this place because this is really beautiful a lush green lawn right here and kids have found a place to run around and play this is a very calming soothing end to our trip to kenya it's about 4 in the evening uh we are really starving we have driven about 5 hours from naivasha and there are a couple of nice restaurants out here uh so we are going to one of the most uh, sought after ones and uh, i believe the food there is very good So we are on our way to Gare Dare and on the way we can see Mount Kenya to our right. Mount Kenya is the second highest peak only after Mount Kilimanjaro which is the tallest peak in Africa. The interesting thing is all the kids in Kenya when they are in 9th standard they have this as a part of their studies or their tour and they are graded they are asked to climb Mount Kenya as their group and this is something which they have to do compulsorily unless there is some kind of a issue related to health or fitness So we are within the forest Gare Dare Forest Park and there are lots of activities here with that which include uh canopy walking and also access to the pools that are inside. Uh we'll be doing a little trek. We are going to carry food and water with us because it's going to take us about 4 to 5 hours and to guide us through this forest we have the forest guard with us. And elephant, buffaloes, okay. Lions, okay. leopards my so over I've encountered. A forest guard explained to us that in elephant dung you feel see a lot of grass, whereas in rhino poop you see sticks. So that's the difference. Black rhino marking its territory. 
by spreading its poop around. Rhino footprints. In fact, this is a place where the rhinos and elephants come to have their mud bath and also lick the salts. So we're going to go leave the wide road here and we are going to take the shortcut to the blue pool. My family is already ahead so I need to catch up. and that's number one it was kind of a trek I've never done before in my life I was so scared at times of slipping and falling and losing my balance I can't tell you but once you get here the view is beautiful wild experience in the sense that there are no changing rooms here so I had to change literally behind that rock there uh, there are those veins running those roots running so that's where I hung my clothes and that's where I changed imagine now we just gotten out it's not wise to stay in the water for too long it's really really cold so we spent some time enjoyed ourselves came out changed sat in the sun for a while just heated up our body and now we are ready to go Again, all the way back. Oh Lord. So the one we had a bath in, that was pool number one. This is pool number two. Can you imagine this hidden gem right here? We just walked upstream and just down there, there's the most magnificent pool ever. Just have a look. Uh, a seven to eight kilometer walk through the forest so we are heading for the camping walk you got to climb up the stairs and then you have a walk on top of the trees so you're going to get the aerial view of what the Karedari forest looks like so here it is the canopy walk <sighs> just show you the way there was a steep climb So how do I feel now? I feel like I'm suspended on air. I'm floating and there are just three layers of metal and separating me from the ground. Scary. And balancing act with this phone in hand. Well, I should get a medal for that. Gosh, look at this. There's a tree right in the midst of the canopy walk. How am I going to maneuver through this now? We have reached the end of the canopy walk and there's a little platform made here for everyone to just sit, relax and enjoy the view. It's a nice way to end the canopy walk. We have a root swing right over here. Say hello, hello. Adi. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Adi says he's going to be a YouTuber someday. Yeah, let's see. I don't, I don't I'm going to be maybe. a YouTuber. Maybe I am. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm going to be a, a gaming, a gamer. Say hi to the camera, Dada. 
So that brings us to the end of the trip. Nare Dare Forest was the last item on the itinerary in Kenya. Bye bye canopy walk. Brings us to the end of our vlogs in Kenya. I have to tell you that Kenya is such an interesting country. There is so much to explore in this country that you must come here at least once in your lifetime. This is something not to be missed at all. Tomorrow morning we are heading back to Nairobi. If I find something interesting in Nairobi for me to share with you, I'll certainly do so. Else I'll see you on my channel with something else, something new to explore. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.